We begin with breaking news out of Los Angeles International Airport. We're at around 9.30 this morning. A gunman walked into Terminal 3 at the airport, pulled an assault rifle out of his bag, and opened fire. He continued firing his gun through the security screening area, making it fairly far into the airport before he came under fire from law enforcement officials and was taken into custody. And there are reports of multiple injuries and another report that one TSA agent was killed in the shooting. RT's Ramon Galindo is on the scene at LAX. He joins us now on the phone. Welcome, Ramon. Hey, Sam. So, Ramon, where are you at the airport right now, and what's the latest you're hearing on the ground? Sure, Sam. Well, currently we are about a couple of hundred feet from Terminal 3 where this morning's shooting happened. Just to recap uh, the day's events, at about 9.30 this morning, a gunman walked into LAX. This morning, the T or this uh, evening, excuse me, the TSA has confirmed that a T TSA officer, an employee of theirs, was killed by the gunman. According to airport police here, they chased down the gunman, eventually shot him, and took him into custody. Police uh, earlier briefed the press, let us know that a total of seven people were injured during this morning's event. Six were transported. Uh, Hundreds of people were inside of this Terminal 3. Uh, I'm looking right now. Dozens of planes are still stuck on the tarmac. Uh, air, air traffic has come to a complete stall here at LAX. Uh, and as I said, uh, several people were taken to the hospital after the shooting. Uh, details are still streaming in, but that's so, uh, so far what has been confirmed by uh, authorities here. So we're getting reports of this TSA agent who was killed. Do we know if the TSA was a target here? Do we have any information, any more information on the gunman other than the fact that he was wounded and taken into custody? Uh, it, it's still uh, too early to tell what sort of motives. Uh, the only thing that we're hearing from witnesses uh, who described him as, as a white male besides that, uh, not, uh, no ID yet on the gunman himself. Police will only say that they chased him down, shot him, and have taken him into custody. What is, what's the state of the airport right now? Is it on lockdown? Is there confusion of what people, I mean, I imagine people go through security checkpoints and then suddenly they are fleeing gunfire and they end up running onto the tarmac or into unauthorized areas, you know, hiding even behind wheels of airplanes. How does the airport then rescreen these people, open up the airport, back up? What's the process there? Well, currently I'm at uh, Terminal 2, just a few hundred feet from uh, Terminal 3, where the shooting happened, just uh, a few hundred feet away, there are hundreds of people waiting in Terminal 1, waiting to be uh, rescreened. Some of them had already gone through security. Some of them had not. Uh, however, uh, police are not letting them uh, through the terminal or out of the airport. They will all have to be rescreened, but they're, uh, they're not being let uh, either into the airport or out of it, no sort of uh, vehicle traffic is being allowed into the airport. And that situation is not going to change anytime soon. There are still hundreds of uh, police officers here, both from the federal level and at the local level. We've seen trucks full of uh, canine bomb sniffing dogs. So while uh, the LAPD here has said that the major incident does appear to have been resolved, there's still a, a, a very heightened sense of security here with officers still in SWAT gear, uh, still with guns drawn, uh, taking every extra precaution they can to make sure uh, that indeed uh, the airport is safe here at LAX, one of the busiest in the world. RT's Ramon Galindo on the scene at LAX. Thanks to you for the reporting.